Well, hello and welcome to a new video. It's a new day. It's a Saturday. Saturdays are always very busy. Uh, so I have three sessions today. First, I have a maternity session. Then I have a newborn session with a little girl. And then I have a love shoot with an engaged couple who booked me as their wedding photographer. So now I've just set up for the maternity session. So I have here my dark gray background. Um, and I have the floral background here set up. She already pointed that one out on my website as being her favorite background. So we're gonna start with that. I might put it up a little bit higher depending on how tall they are. Um, uh, if she has long hair, I will plug in my wind machine to get a little bit of air in her hair. So underneath I have the creamy white background so I can just take off the floral one and use the one that's underneath. Um, so yeah, we'll just go with that. This maternity session which is coming up is interesting because I get to film it. So I'm going to show you some behind the scenes images. So the woman is 32 weeks pregnant right now. Uh, she didn't want to wait until like 35, 36 weeks, even though her belly is still quite small. Because with her first pregnancy, um, she delivered her baby at 36 weeks right before her scheduled maternity session. So she didn't get to do a maternity session with her first pregnancy. So that's why she wanted to schedule it uh, a little bit earlier in her pregnancy. So the chance that she would miss it would be smaller. So yeah, they already have one daughter. She's 22 months right now. I photographed her before during a cake smash session. Um, 22 months old is always a little bit challenging because they have a lot of energy. Uh, very short attention span and yeah if they really don't want to be in a photo it can be challenging we might have to bribe her with some raisins or something <laughs> um, but yeah uh, the partner is coming along as well so we're gonna do some photos of you know just the pregnant lady the pregnant lady with her daughter the pregnant lady with her husband and her daughter and the pregnant lady with her husband I always ask the parents to bring maybe little shoes or like an ultrasound photo so we can maybe incorporate that into the session. Uh, if they didn't bring it, that's fine. And otherwise we'll use it and uh, yeah, I have special gowns that she can choose from. Um, it's all up to the lady. So let's start. I just finished with the maternity session uh, such a lovely lady she has a very tiny belly 
um, because she's quite tall and just very like she's a slim person um, so yeah her belly was quite small so we had to be careful to emphasize her belly so it would be nice and visible in the photos um, because she wants her belly to be visible in the photos um, so yeah what I told her was that so what usually helps is when you photograph a pregnant woman and you want to emphasize her belly is to ask her to bend the leg that is closest towards you so if I'm standing like this it'll be my left leg and then maybe like put one hand underneath the belly and then one hand on top of the belly not completely underneath because then it looks like you have to go to the bathroom maybe a little bit more towards the side so you also create like an opening here and it makes your arms look slimmer as well uh, and then one hand on top of the belly because you want to see the arm you want to make sure that there are two arms on the photo so if I turn around that would mean I cross my I, I bent my right leg so that you get this nice curve here and with the belly sticking out and then one hand here on the side a little bit and one hand on top of the belly you can have the lady looking at the belly looking over her shoulder to the floor uh, looking up looking straight at you there are different angles of course you can always ask if she faces you with her belly also bend one leg just to give nice angles maybe two hands underneath the belly looking at the belly looking up towards you stuff like that uh, in this case she was bringing her husband as well and their um, two-year-old daughter she's 22 months right now uh, she wasn't too excited so we started with like dressing her up in a nice princess dress which she really liked put some flowers in her hair she felt really pretty she was looking at herself in the mirror so she liked it so she wanted to be in the photos so yeah the attention span of a two-year-old is about five minutes so we started off with her photos then we did some photos of just the lady then the lady with her uh, husband then the family together so the girl didn't have to be in the photos for a long period of time we just did a few minutes then we changed a little bit so you could just she could play she could look at her mommy her parents and then again in the photo then she could play again and run around um, just you know to get her attention in the photos but not to have it last for too long uh, so she changed as well during the session mom was changing a different outfit so she changed she got into another dress she really liked it as well. She felt really beautiful. I mean, she is beautiful, but you know, when you put a princess dress on a little girl, they'll shine. Uh, not all of the girls, of course, but some girls really like it. So it was great that I could film. Um, so now I use three different decors. Uh, I could also use like a pure white decor and use backlighting. In this case, we didn't because she picked out the floral background, the creamy white background and the darker background. Um, with maternity sessions you can get really creative with light you can have the lady lie on the floor you can take a photo from the top you can stand on a ladder um, you can use like a high key or low key photos like as far as light you can make it really dark so that you only have a little, little bit of light falling on the face and on the belly in this studio that is quite hard because I have so much daylight coming in so I cannot really use one light source and not have any other light in the photo because I cannot make my studio super dark um, but yeah the parents they choose my photos uh, based on what I have in my portfolio so I don't have these types of photos in my portfolio so they kind of know what to expect uh, so yeah she chose her own outfit she chose her own backgrounds I have six different backgrounds that she can choose from and I already sent them to her in advance in like a collage so she could choose which ones that she liked so I could already have two at least already set up and then put the third one on during the session um, she could change like I have a little area well the kitchen area and then I put like a wooden I'll show you she could change in here I had this closed so she would have like privacy changing there. I don't have really like a special changing table. Uh, well, I do have a changing table. I don't have like a special changing area, so I just use that. And um, so yeah, now it's all ready again for my newborn session. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this, you know, behind the scenes during a maternity session. Maybe you learned something, maybe you just enjoyed watching it. Um, please like, subscribe. I'm losing focus. I think it's my battery. Oh, I'm coming back. Anyway, I really hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. 
I'll see you in the comments. You'll see me in my next video. Turn on the notification bell so you get notifications. And then maybe next time I'll show you a behind the scenes during a Kicksmith session, sitter session, newborn session. You name it. No. Um, so yeah. See you. Bye bye.